2010, I found CrossFit. I just started um, a few, literally probably a month outside of sectionals. You know, talked with my, the, the owner of the gym and was like, hey, you know, you should probably give this a shot. So I, I had no clue about it. I signed up for it, went out there, had a ball. Um, CrossFit Central ran it. They did a great job with it. Um, I qualified for regionals, and then so when I went into regionals, I probably had about three months of training under my belt, but I didn't really have any skills whatsoever or anything. And I went out there and just, you know, had fun with it and ended up doing a lot better than I thought I would. I, was, I think I was sitting in fourth going into the second day, and they took the top four. And uh, I think what held me back from the games there was certainly my underdevelopment of skills and my, my lack of experience, but also I didn't take recovery and nutrition into account. And the next day when I came out on Sunday, I was just smashed, you know. My body was in wreck, was in uh, when it crumbles, and you know I went to do that deadlift workout, and just was like the lactic acid in my legs built up real bad, and I just kind of plumbed it after that. The final workout had some pretty high skill stuff in there, and I didn't really do too well at that, so I kind of fell to about 10th or 11th place, I think. But that was my first year with uh, experience with cross, and I knew after the regionals, you know, I was, I knew that I could go to the games, you know, I knew uh, I had the athleticism and the talent to do it. And um, it just kind of kept me hungry for, for 2011 and uh, trained train, train as hard as I could, try to take in as many resources as I could, CrossFit Journal, learn different things, you know, pick up on different sorts of athletes, techniques here and there, and just kind of try to, you know, mold my game to something that was, um, that was sufficient enough to, you know, to get to the game. The way they made me feel afterwards, I couldn't imagine doing them more than once. Um, Dave Castro did a pretty good job programming them. Um, you know, if you give a full effort, I feel like there's really nothing you can do after that as far as doing them more than once. But the big thing was, it's even though it's a, an open, open uh, setting and environment where you can do them more than once, when you get to regionals or when you get to the games, you only have one shot. And that was the big thing for me is like, all right, I've got one shot at this. Regardless of how I'm feeling, I'm going to do it on this day, I'm going to do it, I'm going to give it my all, and that's going to be the end of it because, you know, at regionals or at the games, there's no, help, pause, you know, let me redo this. There's just, you know, one shot, one effort, whatever you got, give it, all, give it your all, and then take, take what you get from it. So that's, that was the main reasoning in doing it once. Uh, same thing, you know, I know that, um, I know that there's going to be some pretty gnarly programming. It's going to be, I'm guessing, you know, there's going to be some pretty gnarly stuff as far as like work capacity. Um, who knows what they're going to, what they're going to throw out there. I just know it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a fun time doing them. But uh, my plan is probably the same. I know down in Houston we're trying to get, you know, a bigger kind of uh, competition setting around them where, you know, we get a bunch of people at one gym. I'm not sure if that's going to fall through, but I know last year it was kind of like, we would just show up at the gym at a certain day or time and someone would grab a partner and then they would judge and that would be it. Um, didn't really have that competition feel, but I think we want to develop that more during sectionals, build that more of that community aspect that we have uh, down in Houston. And, uh, but basically, you know, just do the workouts once and uh, basically keep my mind on regionals and the games rather than sectionals. You know, it doesn't really matter where you finish in sectionals as long as you're in the top 60 because then everything kind of will work itself out in regionals. You know, being at the games to, uh, definitely exposed a lot of the uh, the things that I needed to work on. Um, there were a lot of things that I needed to work on going to, into the games, but you know, I tried to bust my ass to do as best as I could to get them to where they needed to be at the games. But um, you know, coming back from the games, I kind of sat down and realized that you know I deserve you know to be amongst that top 50. You know, and I think that's the big kind of uh, light bulb moment or epiphany for a lot of people. It's like, all right, I get out there and I'm overwhelmed, or you get out there and you don't necessarily finish as great as you want to do, but you realize that hey, you know, I deserve to be there and I can do this. And that was kind of the uh, the light bulb moment for me. So when I came back home, I just kind of looked at the things that I was weak on and looked at looked at the things that um, I needed to really kind of hone in on and work on my skills. And so this whole kind of year, I've been doing, the, doing very similar things that, you know, if they turned up in a workout that may not necessarily play to my favor, like a lot of gymnastics, body weight work, but a lot of like high volume stuff. Um, you know, the first workout at, at, the, at the games last year was brutal and it just destroyed me. Long runs, you know, swimming, stuff like that. Haven't been able to do a lot of swimming lately, but a lot of running, you know, short interval stuff, long running, but a lot of just like high volume stuff to where, you know, if that showed up, it would, uh, it certainly wouldn't kind of leave a bad taste in my mouth, you know. Um, but, you know, just coming back from the games, I realized that 
not only do I not want to miss an opportunity to get back out there and, and, and display my skills and, and my athleticism and stuff like that, but I don't want to miss an opportunity to be around those type of guys. You know, because you realize out there the Spiels, the Chans, those guys are just regular guys like yourself and they're so down to earth and you don't want to, you don't want to miss an opportunity to, to hang out with those guys and just be around them outside of the competition. So I thought that was a great aspect of the games and, and, and gave you a good insight into, you know, how things are run kind of behind, uh, behind the curtains. My goal going to the games, I think um, the goal for any athlete going to the games should be, or if it's not, there's no reason that they should be, be there. But my, I mean, my goal was to go win the games, you know. Um, I ended up finishing 28th. I felt like, um, you know, there were some things that I could have done a little bit different uh, with it being my first experience. Um, I definitely understood being at the games, you know, having that experience of, of being there, being in front of the crowd, being in front of those, uh, the, the caliber of athletes out there certainly helps to have that experience under your belt but I'm certainly happy with my with my performance out there um, because I know I gave it 100% and that's kind of all I had and um, as long as I give it everything I've got you know the, the results are kind of predetermined so my finish really isn't a uh, representation of you know whether I did good or bad but it's more of a representation of like all right am I happy with my effort if I am then, then I'm pretty satisfied with what, what went on.